G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. The first fish that you choose for your reef aquarium is a particularly important decision. You wanna make sure that you've got a fish which is going to be hardy enough to survive the fluctuating organic levels. You also want something which is going to be bold enough that it's not gonna be scared being in a relatively barren environment. And you want an overall hardy fish. Today, we are going to rank the top five fish to be a pioneer species in your tank. We're gonna tell you exactly why we've chosen them and why they are a good pioneer fish for your aquarium. Traditionally, people have used very hardy fish such as damsels as the pioneer species in their reef tank. Now, damsels are really the, the classic example. They're a fish that people have put into their reef tank because they're extremely hardy, they're very bold, they're not scared too much, and they do very well as the first fish in the tank. But in recent years, people have come to realize that it's not necessarily a smart decision to put a fish like a, an aggressive damsel, a humbug, domino, things like that, in your tank because they can cause problems down the track. So the, the fish that you put in as the first fish, the pioneer species in your tank, is something that you really need to think about. You want it to be a fish that you want in your aquarium. You need it to be hardy and preferably a fish which is going to be able to uh, be confident in the harsh environment of a new reef aquarium. So we've got our list. The first fish that we're gonna talk about is fish number five, and that is the fifth best pioneer species we recommend, and that is the Australian stripey. So here we go, the Australian stripey. And we've spoken about stripies in the past. They're a particularly good Aptasia eater. Um, they're a pretty cool little fish, and in a lot of ways, they are a very, very good pioneer species for your reef tank. They're extremely hardy. They will tolerate really poor conditions, high levels of ammonia and nitrate. They're a, a really tough fish. But the reason why they're not higher in the list is mainly because sometimes they don't do really well in a tank with lots of corals. They can be a little bit nippy at the corals. If it's a fish only tank, then definitely they're an excellent choice. But if you are going to have a tank which is uh, full of uh, delicate LPS, things like trackies and scollies, things that are a little bit palatable to a fish like a stripey, then you may want to reconsider this option. But if it's a tank which is mainly SPS, especially if you're worried about the introduction of Aptasia, there's a lot of examples when a stripey is a great pioneer species for your tank. So let's talk about number four on our list of pioneer species. So the Melanurus wrasse. We've got a, a nice little pair and uh, we've got the male which is slightly bigger than the female. The male's got a little bit more color, the female's uh, pretty much orange stripes on a light green uh, background. But Melanurus wrasse are a great pioneer fish for your tank. So the reason why they're good at being the first fish in your tank is because they're very, very hardy. They're very easy to feed, they'll take almost anything. They're very good at tolerating less than ideal water conditions. Uh, now, if you have a pair of them, having two generally makes them a bit more confident in the tank. And that is an important consideration. Having a pair of fish is a good option so that they have got uh, another tank mate and just it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. But you also have to consider the biomass of the fish. Now with our number five option, the Australian stripey, you can start off with a single small one. With the Melanurus, you can go for a single specimen, but they're better in pairs. And I would try and aim for smaller ones so that you're minimizing the biomass. You want to uh, ensure that the fish you put in aren't going to create too much waste. It's also good to have fish which are going to be uh, quite clean feeders that will pick up all the uneaten, well, all the food that goes into the tank so that none remains behind to foul the water. So the Melanurus wrasse are a good option and they come in at number four of our top pioneer fish species. So let's go to number three. The Lawn Noel Blenny is a great little fish. So we've got, I think we've actually got one in almost every single tank that we have here. They're really popular. They're a really nice addition because not only how they're a cool little character in your tank, but they'll help 
with uh, filamentous algae. So they'll actually eat the algae in your tank. Um, but I really like them because they're a, a real personality fish. And the reason why they make for a great first fish in your tank is because they're, they're really confident. They don't mind being by themselves too much and they'll typically feed quite well in the tank. But that is the one thing that you want to uh, look out for. Some of them are a little bit inclined to, to not feed well and just make sure that it is actually eating before you put it into your tank. It's an important consideration that the pioneer fish that you choose for your reef tank is feeding well and the lawnmower blenny when it's feeding well is a great option. So now we're up to number two. We're up to number two in our list of pioneer fish species and this is one of my favorites for this purpose. Let's go check it out. Chromis are my second favorite option for pioneer fish in your reef tank and the reason for this is because they are an extremely outgoing fish. Now I typically try and start with very very small ones and a group of four or more of the chromis, especially at a small size, is a great way to start a reef tank um, from anything from 100 litres, so 25 gallons or more, especially in bigger tanks. They're a great option because they will swim out and about very, very soon after being added to the tank. Now that helps to bring the other fish out. So as a first fish, they are an excellent option. They're extremely hardy. They'll eat almost anything that you put in there, but you do need to be careful. They don't uh, really do very well if you've only put one or two in there. So the fact you need to go for a group is why they're not number one. And the fact that you need to have a group means you need to consider the amount of biomass that you're adding to the tank on that very first addition. And so I would suggest that you wanna use a biological supplement or anything to make sure that you've got adequate amount of bacteria in the system to break down their waste. And that is also why I go for small ones when possible. But Chromis are number two on our list of pioneer species. So now is the exciting time. We're up to number one. So what is the best fish to start your reef tank? We're right about to tell you. So who would have guessed it? Our number one fish for a pioneer species in your reef aquarium is the humble clownfish, AKA Nemo. And the reason why these are such a good first fish in your tank is because they're an extremely hardy fish and they do very well in pairs. And so putting a pair of clownfish in your tank is perfect for the first addition because it means that they have a tank mate in there so they're not alone and a pair is a, a good number. It's a small amount of biomass of fish going into your tank. So they're not going to create too much pollution. They're also a really good feeder. You'll almost always be able to feed them um, happily on a variety of foods. I typically start uh, off with foods like brine shrimp and mysa shrimp because they float around the tank, giving the new fish a little bit more opportunity to take them. Sometimes pellets, if the fish are a little bit timid because they're new, sometimes they get missed. And I think the brine shrimp and the mice is the best option, but definitely clownfish are my number one option. And the other reason why I like them is because they're a fish which almost everyone puts in their tank. Now, certainly you don't have to put them in your tank. And as we've just listed our other four options, there's, there's other things, other fish you can put in, but they are a classic fish for a reef tank. And I definitely think they're the best option. You've also got other options for color too. So of course, these are the classic Nemo, the orange and white Ocellaris, but they come in black and white. They come in uh, all sorts of designer options. Uh, we have our black and whites just here. We also have uh, storms and we've got some black ice in here and they're all as hardy as each other and as good options. Um, as with any of these pioneer species that we've mentioned, um, I would always check that they're eating well. Uh, it's something that I would always do whenever I buy fish, make sure that it's feeding well at the store so that you know that when you take it home, you're going to be able to feed it and it's doing well and it's healthy. But Neos, clownfish are our number one pioneer species for your reef tank. So that's our list of the top five pioneer species of fish for your reef tank. Now I have to give an honorable mention to a fish that a lot of people use and it's not a very traditional sort of thing that uh, for your reef tank but and that is uh, freshwater mollies converted to saltwater. 
And the reason why they are such a good option is because they are a small fish that will almost always happily swim around without a care in the world. They're very, very hardy and they're also inexpensive. That's another criteria that we didn't speak about. The price of the fish is something I would consider. Mainly stay away from the mega expensive fish when you're starting your reef tank. But the majority of the fish that we just spoke about in our top five pioneer species are all relatively inexpensive. So that's it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!